Hello, uh, you join me in the wilderness, unusually. I have seemed to have taken a wrong turn and gotten lost. I was just trying to find Tesco's um, and I thought I could make a bit of a shortcut, but it seems that I am just a hundred percent lost. Um, anyway, I am in Redditch in England, just south of Birmingham, doing a little prep work for the coming month. Is that the road? Sounds like a road. It sounds like a road. I'm literally going under a tree, trying to get to the road. Um, but yeah, we're currently in Redditch doing a little pre, ah, the road, doing pre-production stuff for the next leg um, that goes all through Europe. And I'm going to be filming as much as I possibly can in these countries because they're going to be a little bit more interesting than the United States. I have made it to the road. How did I manage to do that? Um, I'm now walking along the road. <laughs> I was literally in the forest, so I suppose it did work. I was just trying to find Tesco's in order to get some some little nibbly bits and drinks for the room. Uh, been here at this space. Well, I got here um, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday. It's now so yesterday. Today's Thursday. We're here tomorrow and Saturday, and then we leave to go to Bucharest on Sunday. So yeah, super fun. Come with us on this journey. Should be loads of fun. As always, about a month's traveling until I get to go back home. So um, I'm sure it'll be fun to look back over this in a month's time and see what I've compiled. I want this to be the most in-depth one I've done. So we'll see. Right, speaking to you from the hotel in Redditch. Uh, done with all the prep, we we leave for Bucharest tomorrow and start this whole European adventure. Should be really, really fun. Uh, once we get to Bucharest tomorrow, the next day is a free day. So I'll be going around Bucharest and see what I can find, if I can find anything. And then uh, we'll see where we go from there. So let's do it. Bucharest. Um, I've walked down to the People's Palace. I went inside the, like there was an open gate where lots of people were walking in. So I walked in, like it was open, not like the actual inside of the palace, just like the, on the grounds. So there's a big wall that goes around the whole thing. And I walked into this gate where lots of other people were walking in. And uh, then this man dressed in sky blue and dark trousers, guard with a hat, and a belt and a gun and everything. He like put his hand up to me and I was like, oh Christ. Cause so many, like 20 people walked in. And then he started speaking Romanian and I don't speak Romanian. I said, I said, oh I don't speak it. So I just started backing up. And then he kind of seemed to back up as well. And, uh, and then turned around and walked away. So he kind of was like speaking, speaking, turned around and walked away. So either maybe that was a guided tour is my guess. Maybe that was a guided tour and I wasn't on that guided tour. But he, he, he didn't, he obviously didn't give a shit that I was not speaking Romanian. But yeah, so now the objective is to find some food. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I come to you from Athens, Greece. No joke, Athens, Greece. Been here for, this is day number three, but the last two days, work all of yesterday, really long. I think it was like a 23 hour day yesterday. So it was really, really long. Currently walking to go see my friend Sophia, because she's here the same time as me. And we're gonna walk around and get some food and see some stuff. Greece, Athens, Geneva, Switzerland, and all the watch brands right next to each other. Constantin, Zenith, Valjaga, Breitling, Rolex, the big ass Rolex building right there. There's Blanc Pond right there. Um, Panerai was over there. Hi, Evan. 
Just annoying, they're all bloody closed on a Sunday. Look at the big water fountain. Look, I'm being a real tourist. <laughs> Look at the big water. Big sh it's really moving here. Look at Geneva. It is sublime. It's a wild species of swan. This is absolutely, thank you, Evan, for putting that in the video. Really appreciate that. Look at that water, it's so pristine. There's a tea so shop over there, and a Tudor. Look at this, it is absurd. Now in Bratislava, Slovakia. Absolutely gorgeous. Didn't really know what to expect coming here, but it's, um, it's pretty gorgeous. It really is. I'm gonna make my way over to that tower in the distance and see what that is. This is um, really taking the cake for just stunning town scenery. Architecture, look at that. I don't even know what it is. It's fabulous. Everything here is fabulous. I think it's official. Might be, might be the best place I've ever been. So, as you can tell, just beyond gorgeous. Absolutely superb. Um, I love it here. I'm gonna go find some food. All oh, the fountains have just turned on. Let's go find some food. Guten Tag, Wurde Heimut Herden. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm in Hamburg, Germany. Um, very stormy looking Hamburg, Germany. Which is, oh, come on, focus camera, there we go. Which is interesting because with the weather when we got here it was really, really warm. We're only here, oh, I'm gonna walk this way. We're only here, oh, no, no, I can't walk that way, so it just went red. We're only here till 10 o'clock tonight. We got here about three, here till 10 o'clock tonight. And then we go to Whack and Open Air. Thousands and thousands of people. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, it's um, quarter past five. Head back to hotel. Chill out, have a shower, get ready to go to the bus. And then do Whack and Open Air after that. I know the filming's been sporadic, partially because I've been lazy and partially just because I just haven't wanted to. <laughs> but um, after Wacken we go to Poland, we go to Gdansk, and then we have three days off in Estonia in which I will film significantly more. <laughs> Try to, three full days off in Estonia. Well, two and a half really, because we've got to get there. But that's the situation. Look at Hamburg. so strange the weather it was so warm when we got here and now this very dark gray clouds I don't know if it comes across on the camera as much but over there it was really dark gray and it rained a bit a minute ago so I'm gonna try and get back to the hotel before it absolutely chucks it down but isn't it nice I don't know what William and Kate are doing hanging out in Hamburg Germany but they are here oh some lightning there I think I just caught that I don't know if it got it on the camera, but there was definitely just some lightning there. Yes, it feels stormy. It looks stormy. Very much so. It's a shame I only get like six hours in Hamburg because it's uh, it looks very, very cool. Do you remember that really early episode of Top Gear where Richard Hammond's in Holland and he has that car with three wheels that leans when he drives it? 
I, this is one of those. This is one of those cars that leans when you drive along in it. It's kind of cool. Just saw that. And now we're in Gdansk, Poland. <laughs> A very busy Gdansk, Poland. There's a massive farmer's market festival thing going on. I have achieved Poland. It is crazy cool here. Excuse me while I gorge. Here in Tallinn, Estonia, by the Baltic Sea and some massive boats. Um, we're going to go to that little coffee shop just over there and admire and sit and watch this this wonderful little place. It is crazy here. Um, next stop after this is Finland. We go so we go Thailand, Estonia, Turku, Finland, um, Malmo, Sweden, and then France and Belgium, and then home. So we got five more and. Uh, wild ride not done yet obviously there's still a lot you know a third of it to do but it's been crazy some of these places this is a fun little spot shops and restaurants and the like random park in Brussels, Belgium, surrounded by buildings. It feels like I'm on a school campus. <laughs> 